Hey everyone, it is Sarah from Costa Rica and in today's video you're going to get started on making your rental wish list for your home that you'll live in when you move to Costa Rica. So if you're considering moving to Costa Rica or moving to Costa Rica, make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos each week. Live streams usually on Tuesdays and at least one video per week on Thursdays with information that you need to know to live here in Costa Rica. So sometimes when I'm working with my clients on finding rentals, I'll ask them, well, I always ask them, what are you looking for in a rental? Like, let's do your wish list. And this is always my favorite part because I don't know if you've ever watched any of my more self-development type videos. I'm really into manifestation and, you know, just being really clear on what you want so that you can receive that. So this is something that I do every time I'm looking for a rental is I write down my wish list exactly what I want and then I find that the chances of me finding it and when I actually move into that home, it is a good fit for me. So the first thing that I want to go over and I want you to take a look at here in your notepad is think about your lifestyle and the area that you're going to be living in Costa Rica. So is it going to be a good fit for you? What are you planning to do each day while you're here? Imagine yourself living in this rental. Um, in this town that you're looking at. What are you going to be doing each day? Is that a really a good fit for your lifestyle? You know, how close do you want to be to the airport? How close do you want to be to bigger amenities? Or are you a person who's fine with being way out in the sticks? These are things that you need to think about. Is your lifestyle and what you want to do each day really going to be in alignment with where you're going to be and the area that you're looking for a rental? The next thing that you want to look at your wish list is your budget. So I want to know your ideal budget for a rental. So ideally, what is your monthly rate that you'll be paying for your rental? And I like to know someone's max budget because sometimes we have a max budget where we said, okay, ideally I'd like to pay this price, but if I found an amazing place that fit everything I want right in the area I want, I'm willing to pay this price. So write down your ideal budget versus your max budget. And also consider you know, utilities in this. So if you're gonna have to be paying for electric, you think you might need AC, consider this into your budget as well. And here comes the fun part, your actual rental. So what is your wish list of what you want in your rental? And be okay to dream big. I mean, you'll be on, I, you've already learned in this video how to look for rentals. So look at your budget, see what's out there, scan the groups like I taught you in this video. And I wanna know, what do you want in your rental? Um, do you need AC? How many bedrooms do you want? How many bathrooms do you want? Um, how much of a distance are you gonna have between you and what you need? So you're gonna wanna consider, are you gonna have a car? That's gonna, you don't wanna be stuck in a rental if you're not gonna have a car and you can't get to what you need. This is really important. At least for your first rental coming, if you're not gonna have a car, make sure you're near where you need. But for future ones, when you do have a car, that will expand you know, where you can rent. Do you need outdoor space? How close do you want to be to your neighbors? What do you want that neighborhood to look like? What type of home? Do you want something more modern? Or do you want kind of want something more rustic and fun with a little bit of character? So really think about what type of home you want. Um, do you need a washer, a dryer? What type of internet do you need? So if you're gonna be doing video calls or you rely on your computer for work, make sure that you check out the internet. Put in what speeds, ideal speeds do you need in your rental? Do they allow pets? Are you coming with pets? This is something, you know, put it on your wish list. They need to allow pets. Parking, if you are gonna have a car, do you want, what kind of parking do you want? Do you wanna be around the property? Is street parking okay? Make sure that you consider this too. And do you want a pool? <laughs> this is your rental, guys. This is your budget. So you make your wish list. Make it as big as you need to make it and then just find something that that is a good fit for you. And just keep in mind with a pool that is gonna up your electricity cost due to the pump but this is your time. So I wanna hear from you guys, what is on your rental wish list? So that is how I always make my rental wish list, and that is what really what I go through when I'm working with a client one-on-one -on -one to really discuss what they want in their rental. I look at the area, make sure it's gonna be a good fit for their lifestyle, you know, even the neighborhood. Look at their budget, okay, is, is the budget realistic for what's on your wish list? That's also something you need to consider. And then the fun part is the wish list. That's the fun part to get creative and really imagine what your lifestyle is gonna be here in Costa Rica. 
And always remember, if you have questions about Costa Rica and or you need assistance with your move, you can always go over to my website. Feel free to book a call with me. It's super easy. You pick a time that works for you. We'll answer some of your questions. And if you do end up needing assistance, we'll talk about what that would look like. If not, I just want to be here to help point you in the right direction and make sure that you find the resources that you need to make your move as smooth as possible. If you like this video and you are looking for more, make sure to check out my other videos that I have here on YouTube about rentals, cost of living, but just about anything that you could really imagine and more of them are coming. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, um, like this video and stay tuned for more.